Hey everyone, have you ever seen a photo online and thought, where did this image come from? Or in today's world of AI, have you ever looked at an image and thought, is this fake? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to reverse search any image that you can find online on Google to find out where it came from. So let's get into it. So the very first step is to go to google.com and you'll see here that in the search bar, there's a little icon that looks like a camera. And this is basically the feature that we're gonna be using in a couple different ways to reverse search images on Google. So let's imagine that I run an e-commerce store, I've taken a photo of a product, and I wanna see if anyone else has stolen my photo. I can do that right here, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is click on that icon that says search by image. When this comes up, it's gonna give you two options. Number one, it's gonna say, hey, if you have a file on your computer, you can upload the file and we'll take a look. Or if you have a URL for where a photo is listed, we could do it that way too. So for example, if I run a t-shirt shop and I have a mock-up photo of a t-shirt that I wanna put in, I already have that on my computer, I can upload that. So I'm gonna click upload, I'm gonna pick the image that I have and hit open. And now Google has this image and it's gonna start doing some searching to see where this image is located. So here's the really cool part of this is it buckets it into some different categories, right? Like this image is found on these products or on, or on this homework, or here's some visual matches, or here's the exact matches, right? So really the most important ones that I would wanna look at, if I'm worried about somebody having stolen this image for products or on their e-commerce stores, I would wanna look at products. And I would wanna see where this image is coming up. Now, Google's not 100% accurate, right? Like this image here is different than this image. So it's just giving you some related information, but if I really wanted to see exactly where that image is located, I would wanna click on this exact matches filter. So when I click on exact matches, now it's giving me the actual links to where this photo is located. So I would wanna go through here and make sure, you know, yep, this is my Shopify store, that checks out. Yep, this is my Etsy store, that checks out. And I would go through all these different links and make sure that if I see the image here that's listed, is it on my shop? So again, it's not gonna be 100% accurate, like this image here is not the image that I submitted. It's on a different Etsy shop. I don't care about that. So this is a really good way in this exact match feature to help you to find out where this image actually lives. So now let's show you how to actually search for an image by the image URL. So for example, if this is a shop where I sell shirts, I could just click on the image that I want. And when it comes up, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to copy the image address. So this is going to copy the URL of this image now if I go back to Google, I'm going to click on the search by image and instead of uploading an image, I'm just going to paste in the image URL and I'm gonna hit search. So now Google is going to look at this image and it's going to look around and see if it can find it. But if I wanna look at my exact image, like I said, I could start in the product section or click on exact matches and find where my exact image is located. So this would be a really good way for me to take a look and see if people have actually copied this image. Now the reason for reverse searching an image doesn't always have to be nefarious, right? Like is somebody stealing from me? Is somebody using my image? But it can also be used to just find out where an image came from, right? If you have a competitor that has a really great image of a product, it'd be nice to know where did they get that image from? Did they actually take it themselves or did they buy it from a stock image place that you could also purchase the license to? Or in this world of AI, it's also just nice to know is the image even real or does it exist a bunch of different places and where did it source from? So back to our e-commerce example, no matter what website you're on, if you're using Google Chrome, any image you can actually use Google Lens to do a reverse image search on and all you have to do is right click on the image and say search with Google Lens. And when you do this, Google is going to show a bunch of images here on the right of what it thinks is the image that you're looking for and where you could potentially find it. This can help you in a really quick pinch if you wanna see, you know, does this image exist on a stock photo library or did it come from maybe somewhere else and help you to kind of start that process of digging into, well, where is this image from and where did it come from? The other really cool thing here is once you search for an image, it actually kind of creates this drag and drop option inside of Chrome. So you can actually click and drag over anything on the page and it will start to look up that imagery and show you where it is from. So it's really cool inside of Chrome to help you to get some basic information on where what you're seeing on the page has come from and where else it exists. Now I'm gonna go over my very favorite tab of information that you can get when you reverse image search on Google. But before I do, if you've stuck around this far, please make sure that you hit like, 
subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we put out more helpful content like this. Okay, now let me share with you my favorite tab of information when you reverse image search on Google. My favorite tab is the about this image tab. And the reason why I like this tab so much is that while all of these other tabs that we've gone over give you very helpful information, it can be a little bit convoluted and a little bit busy and there's a lot of information to kind of go through. But if you want kind of a very concise, shortened version of all the information that we've gone over today, the about this image tab is the one that you're looking for. So again, back to our love laugh toaster bath example where we had Google reverse search this image. If I click about this image, it's gonna come up and give me some basic information about this picture. So you'll see here that the very first thing it shows me is that this image is at least a year old. And then it's gonna very concisely show me what pages that this image is found on. So taking a quick glance at this list, I can decide if I recognize these sources or if I don't, and if I don't, then I can take some different actions at that point if I feel like my image was stolen. So regardless of the reason of why you wanna look for an image on Google, this is how you do it. And it's very, very simple to do. Reverse image search can be really powerful, especially if you're competing with other people in an industry. By being able to use this tool, you can take a look at the images that your competitors are using and find out if you can purchase the licenses to those images or if you can create an image that's just a little bit better than the one that they have. And speaking of competing and how to get a leg up on your competitor, another way to do that is by learning what keywords they're targeting on Google search as well as paid ads. And if you wanna learn how to do that, Make sure that you watch this video where we go over from start to finish how to look at the keywords that your competitors are targeting for their organic search campaigns as well as their paid ads. So if you wanna give your competitors a run for their money, make sure that you watch this video and we'll see you over there.